Hello, Internet! This is Taylor from blockchain.wtf, and today we're going to be going over the difference between public and private blockchains. So what is the difference between public and private blockchains? The blockchains we are more familiar with today, such as Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Dash, are all public blockchains in the sense that access is open to anyone. By contrast, public blockchains intend to restrict either participant or validator access. Who would want to use a private blockchain if access is restricted? Well, many private companies including Disney and JP Morgan have shown an interest in the potential of blockchain technology, but they require a greater control than provided by public blockchain solutions. So companies are looking to incorporate blockchain technology into the way they conduct business, ranging from accounting to record keeping. We're seeing several working groups form, such as Hyperledger or R3, that are dedicated to exploring blockchain applications specifically for businesses. Obviously, private entities don't want this information to be shared publicly, but they also see advantages of moving towards this new tech stack. The middle ground that they've desired has led to the creation of private blockchains, allowing companies the benefit from their technology without giving up their autonomy. The reasons for this may be many. Perhaps they have a semi-trusted set of consortium members which require a different style of consensus than proof of work. Or maybe the participants want to keep certain information private from the public internet. Regardless of the reason, there is still a powerful need for public blockchains to anchor data to a public timestamp. Even if no other details are shared, anchoring is a way to prove information or the state of some information exists without actually providing the information itself. Similarly to how corporate intranets dominated the early days of the internet, there is a lot of interest in private blockchains to solve some of the immediate needs that public blockchains cannot yet provide. That being said, the public internet, not the private intranets, is where we conduct the vast majority of our daily business and have weird things like cat videos and Pepe memes. For this reason, I'm a big believer in the value of a shared public internet backed by blockchains. So does this mean that private blockchains will one day be useless and go away? Well, if internets connected to the internet are any indication, the answer is a resounding N-O no. If blockchains are to remain a part of the internet as we know it, we will likely use a variety of applications that leverage both private and public blockchain networks. So those are the differences between public and private blockchains. If you have any questions about either, throw those down in the comments below. Hit that thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of our new content and visit blockchain.wtf.